So these are a few drills from a shooting workout focused on getting that shot off quicker, both off the dribble and off the catch. A lot of qualities go into this, not even just getting comfortable with moving the ball upwards quickly, but also the quick pop off of the ground, getting the ball into that motion quickly, transitioning into the jump from a sprint smoothly, and a lot more. Let's check it out. We'll make this like a mid-range for you, so high school three. You're just kind of relaxed here, dribbling. Whenever I reach in, so I'll be right in front of you, whenever I reach in, you're as quickly as you can getting it off. All right, so no time delayed from getting it either in the air from your hand or from the ground up into there. Not bad. Yes, sir. That shit looks great, bro. All right, now let's go your extra low with it here. So your dribble is low, you're a bit lower, so you gotta kind of scoop it up off the ground more. Yep, still kind of moving around a little bit. Nice. <laughs> now two where you're extra high with that ball. So it's almost like up to shoulder height, so there may be some times where we gotta pick it up from up here, kind of the other side of the spectrum. Yeah, really relaxed, really relaxed. Yes. All right, let's start off in like high school three. So I'm literally just tossing it here. So you're ready to break into that. I'm tossing it. Imagine there's like an internal clock in your head. And it's like a stopwatch. And the quicker you get it off, like the quick, the lower the time is. So you're trying to get it off literally as quick as possible and like measure it basically with an internal clock. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes. All right, and then I'm gonna mess around with the placement. So sometimes I'll throw it high, low, wherever. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's fine. Yep, shoot that. Good, it's fine. These are gonna be tough. There we go. Yeah. Take it. Maybe could have been a little quicker, but that's what this last rep is for. That stopwatch, think about that stopwatch. Little time is possible. Yes. All right, now we'll go on this side. You're gonna be as relaxed as you can into it. So if you're tossing it to me, I'm gonna go relaxed here. As soon as I catch it, that's when I speed up. So it's almost like a ramp up in speed. So really relaxed as soon as you catch it, boom. You control the timing on this one. So you'll jog up. Don't wait on me to react to it. You're just kind of here. You'll catch it and as soon as you catch it, you're right up into it. Yep, now, same idea. I could close out and you can take one dribble off of that. So you're quickly kind of snapping your feet down here and then off of that, you're trying to shoot it. But if you need to go either way, you can. Good. Love that. If you can get it off, get it off. Pause. Yes. You shouldn't even have to go by me because you're getting it off so quick. Wherever I throw it. Good. Hey, I'll take that. Oh yeah. Remember last time I was saying it's like an airplane taking off? Yeah. Where instead of it's like here, up, think of it as just like one fluid motion up, like an airplane is just kind of taking off. Yeah. And then that's happening quickly. Just think, airplanes go fast as shit, just kind of taking off. Better. I'll toss it to you anywhere. You're catching it, I'm either saying slow or fast. If I say fast, you're trying to get it off as quickly as possible. If I say slow, it's not necessarily slow, but like taking your time into it, like it's wide open. All right? Fast. Slow. Let's make six right here. Fast. Two. Fast. Two. Slow.
As always, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Basketball for a lot more like this.